Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on setting up the Sandboxy tab, which is in the bot right here. First we have to install Sandboxy by clicking on the download Sandboxy installer link in the tool. It takes us to the Sandboxy download page. Here we want to choose the Sandboxy Plus X64 version, which is right this one. And when we click it, it will be downloaded and then when we click on it once again, it will open the installer. So once the installer is loaded, we also have to press yes to run as administrator. And we can choose the language, which will be English, OK. Then we accept the agreement, next, 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 and next, install. So once Sandboxy Plus has been installed, we will also run sandman.exe and click on finish. Next on the desktop we will have a new shortcut called Sandboxy minus plus and we will double click that in order to start Sandboxy. Here we have our default sandbox. We can create new sandboxes by clicking on sandbox create new box. So for each Duel Links account you will create a new sandbox account. So we will just use an example of calling our sandbox account and clicking OK. Click the sandbox we just created and then we go to run and run program. In here we have to choose the file path to the Steam executable. I already did it before so it's saved in the history and it is C program files x86 steam steam.exe. Then you click on OK. Once you've done that the Steam process will be started and once it's started it might ask you to log into an account and if it doesn't it might log into the account which you already have logged into before from your other actual non-sandbox Steam version. Using the sandbox Steam version you can log into different accounts and then launch different instances of Duel Links with different accounts each. So now it's connecting to my Steam account here and I can see that this is the sandboxed version of Steam by looking at these borders around each window which is sandboxed. In Sandboxy I can see all the processes which have been launched inside the sandbox. My other Steam account is right here. This is the normal Steam account without sandboxing. This one does not have the borders. While it loads we can still um, continue in the JDooling spot. So here we have to enter the sandbox name, not the sandboxy plus file path. Since our sandbox name is account, we will enter account. And in order to attach to the sandbox, all we have to do is tick the checkbox. But first of all, we will have to enter the password for the account in order to log into Steam. After entering the password, we click on login to log into the account. And if the password is correct, of course, it allows us to log in. Now we have logged into the new Steam account. Here inside the sandbox Steam version, we can go to Duel Links and we can start Duel Links. This allows us to actually have two windows of Duel Links running at the same time. Normally, it doesn't allow you to do this, but with this very simple sandboxing trick, you can run multiple versions of Duel Links. That gives you the advantage of being able to farm or bot multiple instances of Duel Links on the same computer without using a virtual machine. Since virtual machines are much slower than your main computer, this is a very clever thing to do. And recently I added support to the JDuel Links bot to attach to different sandboxes. So first we will look at the normal version of Duel Links. If we press delete, it will actually show us the Duel Links Salifa mod menu because it's already injected. In the miscellaneous tab, I have automatically inject ticked. So whenever the game is detected, it will inject the Duel Links Salifa mod menu, as you can see here. Now in the sandboxed version, we don't have it yet. If I press the delete key, nothing happens. See, the menu does not pop up. That's because the bot is only attaching to the normal version of Duel Links and not to the sandboxed version. Now, in order to switch to the sandboxed version, all we have to do is tick the checkbox here 
and then in the title bar it will tell you add sandbox account because the bot is now fully attached to the sandbox and all operations inside the bot all modifications cheats and everything including the bot will be working on this version of Duel Links only. Quitting the game, restarting the game, pausing the game and resuming the game, they are all supported on the new version of the game. As you can see, the game is running faster now because apparently Duel Links Salifa has been injected. Now, if we press the delete key, the mod menu will show up. So now, we have the mod menu in both versions of the game. Both are running on the same computer. This is not a virtual machine. So now, what you can do is you can use the network bot in both versions of Duel Links and farm two different accounts at the same time on the same machine. And this can all be done with just one license of JDuel Links bot. The problem with virtual machines was that you also needed a different license key, which was a pain. But now you can do this on your main computer using Duel Links Salifa's network bot. So for example, you can bot the gate in both versions of the game, right here, send network requests. However, if you want to use the regular bot from here, it might give you some conflicts because of the focusing of the different windows. It won't work properly, I guess. I haven't really tried it, but you can try it. And other than that, you can also run multiple versions of JDueling Spot. You don't have to sandbox it. In fact, I tried to sandbox JDueling Spot, but it didn't work properly. So you have to run it non-sandboxed. And you can run a different JDueling Spot instance for each version of Duel Links.